Hello, my name is Captain Kelly Moniz, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident, community briefing, is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in 77th Street Division in the City of Los Angeles on September 3rd, 2024, at around 11.55 a.m. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies in the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. 77th Street Patrol Division officers responded to a radio call for an assault with a deadly weapon suspect in the 5800 block of Estrella Avenue. The caller reported that the suspect had vandalized a parked vehicle and had also pointed a handgun at a community member. Here is the 911 call and corresponding radio broadcast. Yeah, hi. Somebody just vandalized my car. They threw a, a weight on my, in my front windshield in front of my house. I know who it is. Did you see the person that uh, vandalized your vehicle? Yeah, my girlfriend saw. Your girlfriend saw the suspect? Yeah, we have the cameras too, so... Okay, so, okay, one, one second. So the question is if you guys saw the person that did this. Correct, yes, yes. Okay, yes, and yes. how long ago did this happen? Uh, about two, three minutes ago. Two, three minutes ago? And what's the address yeah. of this vandalism, sir? 50 South Australia Avenue. 50 Australia? Yeah, Australia Avenue. And this is the second time he's done this. And your name? Your telephone number? Three one oh. The suspect, a male or female? The male. Why black, Hispanic, Asian? Hispanic. His name is Brian Rodriguez. Do we know how old Brian is? Uh, yeah, I know where he's at right now. No, do we know how old he is? Uh, he's 33. Do you know what color shirt and pants he's wearing? Uh, what color shirt and pants he's wearing? He's wearing uh, a, like a sweater, like a blue sweater or something. Blue shirt or something like that. Okay, you say he threw a brick at your front windshield? No, yeah, a windshield. I said put a weight. A weight? Uh, a weight. Threw a weight through the PR windshield. Yeah, okay, weight. you weren't in you weren't in the car, so you're not injured, don't need an ambulance. Is that correct? No, no. Okay, and then yeah. uh, you're going to, you know where he's at? Uh, what, excuse me? You know where he is at? Yeah, I know where he's at. This is the second time he's vandalized my Any car. weapons involved, sir? Um, I don't see him wearing any weapons. He usually has knives with him. So he's known to carry knives? Yeah. All right. So I'll finish creating my call, Mr. Wait there for the police to come in and assist you, okay? Yeah, please. 77, due to your balance of suspect there now, is now an ADVU suspect there now, 5, say, to Strala, 5, Rita Strala, suspect pointing a 22 caliber handgun in the PRS code 3 and 7338, party 1239. The suspect was identified as Brian Rodriguez. Upon arrival to the location, the officers saw Rodriguez standing in the street. As the officers requested the assistance of additional patrol units, Rodriguez threw a rock toward the officer's police vehicle and ran away. The officers followed Rodriguez in their police vehicle. As they neared the intersection of Australia Avenue and 59th Street, Rodriguez stopped, turned toward the officers, and pointed a handgun-shaped object in their direction. Rodriguez then ran away once again as officers continued following in their vehicle. 
Rodriguez continued running away and eventually entered a driveway of an apartment building in the 5900 block of Gonzalo Avenue. As he ran toward the rear of the apartment building, the officers got out of their vehicle and gave Rodriguez verbal commands to drop what they believed to be a handgun. Rodriguez ran behind the apartment building, momentarily reemerged facing the officers, and once again pointed the handgun-shaped object at them, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. A portion of this incident was captured on the responding officer's digital in-car video. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a camera mounted inside which activates when the emergency lights are turned on. The camera can also be manually activated. These digital in-car cameras have a buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back one minute and starts recording. I see him, he's over there. All right, put it out, put it out. Let me get a backup for me team with the gun. So I'm gonna find one thing in the back of a 415 with a man with a gun. But give me a take off. Shit. Heads up, heads up. Say, say, he's running, he's running southbound, but he's running southbound and straight running up. Southbound. He's running southbound and straight up. He's running southbound and straight up. He's got a gun, he's got a gun. Heads up, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Heads up. Heads up. Say, say, he's running on. Heads up, partner. Yes, sir. All right. Heads up, heads up. Put it down, put it down, put it down! Put it down! Hey, what up, Gonzalo? Put it out and fight, fight it. He's got a gun in his hand. Heads up, Brian, heads up. Baby, in the. He's south by Gonzalo 5'9. Gonzalo. Gonzalo 5'8, he has gun. He has gun. Yeah, hey, we're, we're south by Gonzalo. He's got his gun in his hand. We're south by Gonzalo from 5'9. Damn, heads up. He's running to the back of 5'9. He's running to the back of 5'9. He's got a gun. He's, He's got, got a gun in his hand. Hey, put the gun down! Officer D. Tubbs, shots fired. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes, sir. Heads up, heads up. Yes, sir. Tell me 5-1, Officer D. Tubbs, shots fired. Damn it. You okay? Yes, sir. You good? Tell me 5-1, Officer D. Tubbs, shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Suspect's to the rear. We're in a blue shirt. He's on with the handgun. You good? Yes, sir. Hey, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get the fuck on the ground! Get the fuck on the ground! Don't move! Officer needs help. Avenue. Do not move! Oh, hey, Mr. Bayer! Don't move! Mr. Bayer! Don't move! Put your arms out to your side! Put your arms out to your side! Put your arms out to the side! Don't move! Face away from me!
A portion of this incident was also captured on the responding officer's body-worn video. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. I see him, he's over there. All right, put it out, put it out. I'm gonna get a back up 415 mount again. He's gonna take off. Heads up, heads up. Say, say, he's running, he's running southbound. But he's running southbound to Australia. He's running southbound to Australia. He's got a gun, he's got a gun. Heads up. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Say, say, he's running down. Heads up, partner. All right. Heads up, heads up. Put it down, put it down. Put the gun down. Hey, Juan Bonsalo, put it out. And 5 five eight. he's got a gun in his hand. Heads up, partner, heads up. He's southbound, one time on five nine. Gonzalo, Gonzalo five eight, he has gun, he has gun. Yeah, say, we're southbound Gonzalo. He's got his gun in his hand. We're southbound Gonzalo from five nine. Damn, heads up. He's running to the back of five. He's running to the back of five. He's got a gun, he's still got the gun. Hey, put the gun down! Shots fired. Officer needs help, shots fired. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Heads up, heads up, heads up. 12 5 one officer needs help, shots fired. Damn it. You okay? 12 5 one officer needs help, shots fired. We're going to be five. Gonzalo, suspect's to the rear. We're in a blue shirt. He's armed with the, with the handgun. I see him, he's over there. All right, put it out, put it out. I'm going to get him back in front of the team out with the gun. 12 out of 5 walk, I got a back up 415 with man with a gun. Heads up, heads up. Say, say, he's What's running, up? he's running southbound, but he's running southbound to Australia. He's running southbound. He's running southbound to Australia. He's running southbound to Australia. Oh, shit. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, sir. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Say, say, he's running south. Heads up, partner. Yes, sir. All right. Heads up, heads up. Put it down, put it down, put it down! Put it down! Hey, Juan Bonsalo, yes, put it out. And 5 five eight. he's got a gun in his hand. Heads up, partner, heads up. 5 eight. He's south by Montana 5 nine. Gonzalo, Gonzalo 5 eight. he has gun. Yeah, hey, what's up, Gonzalo? He's got a gun in his hand. What's up, Gonzalo, from 5-9? He's got a gun in his hand. Damn, heads up. He's running to the back of 5 He's running to the back of 5 He's got a gun. He's, He's got a gun in his hand. Hey, put the gun down! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You okay? Yes, sir. You good? Tell me five Shots fired. Shots fired. Rodriguez was not struck by gunfire, discarded the handgun-shaped object, and upon the arrival of the additional patrol units, was taken into custody without further incident. Rodriguez was arrested and booked for assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer. Here is additional body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Nice and easy. Go, 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 go. Hey, 40 holster up. Get your 40 ready. 40 holster up. Get your 40 ready. I got it. Hook him up, hook him up. Yes, sir. Corner, hook him up. Yes, sir. That is a little bit the uh, adjustment. Right there, right to that, right to that. Copy. Copy, 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 copy. Where'd you, where'd you toss it, Brian? The roof. Check his bike. On the roof, on the roof. Roof, roof, roof. It's up. After conducting a search of the scene for the handgun-shaped object, investigators recovered a polymer stun gun on the roof of the apartment building and booked it as evidence. The case against Rodriguez was referred to the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office, and the following charges were filed. 
one count of brandishing an imitation firearm, one count of resisting a police officer, one count of vandalism, and one count of battery. Brian Rodriguez is a 33-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all Los Angeles police officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD investigates all serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org where you can find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.